Hola! How are you? I hope you're doing okay. My name is Mothoni and this is Just Doing Life. And today we are going to be sharing a recipe. So today we're making something a little fancier than usual. So it's not just beans. Sio kila siku, ugali madondo, chapo. Okay, our chapos are dope. So we're not going to hate on our chapos, okay? Nah. So, because I have to start chopping my things and whatever, I want to start off by preparing the meat, which is going to be the stuffing, as I do now the chopping and everything else. Mothoni over here so something was a bit off with the sound and so here we are went in with my sunflower oil this is to prepare the meat then I threw in some cumin with the oil so that the flavors can you know come out and then after the cumin had been sitting in the oil for a while I added in my onions I'm using yellow onions over here I like how they taste and because they'll you still feel the crunch in the food and as always you know i always start off with my onions and then once they are they have been cooking for a while that's when i add in my garlic so i added my crushed garlic as well as some of my ginger i did not use all the garlic in here because we're leaving the rest for the sauce then i added in my ginger this is grated ginger again did not use the full amount just half of it because the other one's going to go into the sauce all these flavors are going to come together in the end and then now i let this cook together until like the onions were ready and you could really smell the onion and the ginger and the garlic like the aroma was in the air you know well until they're ready let's let's say that <laughs> and then after that i added my meat so once my onion mix was ready i just added the meat um, this is minced meat, so I just added that, tossed that in there, broke it down, and then I covered it after mixing it up. I covered it to cook. So the meat has been cooking for a while at this point, and now it's time to add in our extra flavor. So I started with some salt. I was using herbal salt for this. I didn't put a lot because, you know, again, I'm not a big fan of salt. And also we'll be adding some other things, some other ingredients that will also contain salt. So that's one of the reasons. Then I added my tomatoes. So I pureed my tomatoes in the blender for this particular mix. If you do not have a blender, you can just... Um, put them in hot water or crush them but I prefer them blended because I feel like the smoothness of the blended tomato works very well and I don't end up having chunks or anything so I added that into the meat and then let that cook slowly because the meat will seep up all the juices then I added some soy sauce I was using mushroom soy sauce for this particular recipe so i added my soy sauce one of the reasons why we didn't use a lot of salt on the other side and then just mix that in and let it cook for a while threw in some garlic powder you can add whatever else you want added some chili as well and some paprika into the meat at this point and then mix that in let it sit in the pan for a couple of minutes to let all the flavors blend together And then now after that, I added my chopped, diced bell peppers, my colorful bell peppers. I personally like my bell peppers almost raw. I don't like them to cook, so that's why I didn't cook them at the beginning. And then I'm just going to mix them in. For this, it's just to provide like a layer of color and interest in the food, but also just like basically think of this as our veggies <laughs> with those people. So I'll transfer this into here because I don't want to use another, a different pan and then we'll just use the same pan for the sauce. Mmm, that is good. Um, just a dash of oil. So for this I'm going to just do the rest of the garlic and ginger And 
in. Stirring the ginger as well. Okay, I'm adding some garam masala straight into the pan because I also want that to roast in there a bit with the heat. Okay. It helps with the flavor. This one's a nice and toasty. And then now I'm going to add my So for the sauce, um, we are cooking now, we've added the extra tomatoes and then it's, it's just a matter of now letting this cook and then you can now add in your flavors as you please. So you want to cook until the tomatoes are cooked because basically the sauce is a tomato based sauce and they were raw once you know when we were blending them so you want them to cook in the pan so you don't want to cook this on high heat, you want it to just simmer slowly so that the water releases and you get a nice thick sauce. I also added some soy sauce here into the tomatoes again just to build up on the flavor don't put a lot of salt um, or a, like anything that's too salty because what will happen is once we mix the sauce and our pasta the water will mostly evaporate so we'll be left with the flavor I added a cubes a stock cube this is a chili beef one because we were doing a beef um, a stuffed pasta that has beef so I, d I added that again just for extra flavor in the sauce so this is going to coat the top and then I went in with this cooking cream by Brookside not a big fan of it um, it wasn't as thick as I expected it to be just for me I'm like I, I feel like I just used milk so it's fine um, my my favorite thing to use in such situations is always coconut milk or coconut cream because I love the thickness it comes with but it's okay we are going to make this thick thick towards the end because this cream did not provide the thickness we wanted I added a bit of extra soy sauce that's why I haven't added salt in this particular session section of the cooking then let this simmer and cook um, in your medium heat for a while let everything bubble over and mix together and cook and blend and then after that you just want to keep mixing it because mostly cooks from the sides inwards so to thicken it up because i wanted my sauce to be slightly thicker than what it is like right now i decided to just mix a bit of corn flour and water and then just pour that in there and then that thickened up my sauce but if i was using like coconut milk i would not have had to do this because it automatically thickens up the sauce like it's a lot thicker than the cooking cream thingy that we use so if you want to add thickness to your stuff this is a trick and that's also one of the reasons why i added a bit of extra soy sauce because it also helped with the thickness and then just let this simmer for a couple of minutes and you are ready to go because after this it's time to assemble and bake everything in the oven so by the way when you're doing this make sure you preheat your oven at 180 degrees in terms of temperature Yeah, just, I'm gonna just do that. Yeah, cool. Our first one is filled after fighting with it for five hours. Yay! Just pouring some of the sauce, and then spread that across. Ah, not on the sides. So I want to spread this and that should be enough. Okay, so I've finished stuffing them, so I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce over, over them, just like this. 
make sure they're coated nicely. They covered, the sides are coated, the bottom is okay. There we go. That's good. Uh uh. So we are going to cover all this with our cheddar um, and some so we can put this on top and here first just to add a bit more hmm, flavor so that's just dania the leaves and then now this is uh, a whole cup of cheddar cheese I'm not giving you I'll add a bit more, just kidogo, not a lot, for the top, the ones that are finely chopped, should have added the rest of them, and then this goes into the oven. Uh -huh. Glass cooks a lot slower than a tin wood because it takes a lot more time for this to heat up and stuff, so I'm going to first cover it with some foil for like the first 30 minutes and then let it cook the other, like it's gonna be like almost an hour, anywhere between 45 to an hour um, and then let, let it cook the other without the foil so I'll do the first 30 with foil because I don't want it to like cook all the way over on top and become all crispy crispy but I still want to have that crispiness kidogo but not like completely with the cheese that's why I'm using foil so, I think I want to give this like another. Yes, yes. Did you see that? It goes right through. Mm, Look at us. Look at us. We need to give it like five minutes. So you want to be sure that before you remove it, that when you do that, okay, you want the shells for a knife to go through the shells. So that's a cooked one. So they're all cooked. That's how you know if it's cooked. I did. So here we go. Straight at the oven. So if you want the this nini, you don't even have to do the foil. You can do it without. And then all this will be super nice and crispy. For me, I like to do the foil because I don't like the cheese to be too crispy. Over here. See now it, it cuts very easily. going to do this part this one I don't know how it's gonna be does Nick want to do it ready Very tasty. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is so cool. Oh, I drink that. Yeah. It's the cheese for me. Yeah. It's what does the trick. Mmm. I'm getting because I, I realize the more the cheese hardens, you're definitely going to, to need a knife. Mm. Only thing I'm going to change next time is I'm going to add cheese into the into the what's it called the stuffing so that also when now you 
break into the stuffing it has cheese as well yeah. I was like, mm, mm. and then maybe change out the I didn't like I wasn't a big fan of the cooking cream because I felt like I was just using milk so I felt played that's the point but all in all delicioso chef's kiss I'm the chef so <laughs> yes you there approve you I do yes Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're going to try this for your Valentine's dinner. And I hope it's as delicious as this. Whether it's just for you, or for you and Boo, or for you and your mom, whoever your Valentine's date is. Look, Joey's like, ah, I Are want you, Joey? them. It's not for you. Go eat your pro life. <laughs> Please. So, thank you for checking out this video. It went late into the night, which I normally don't like. <laughs> Sorry. But, it's alright, we had errands to run and we did. Thank you for watching this video, we shall see you in the next one.